Hey guys, this week we're gonna finish the mast step, the bust partner and fit them in place as well as the center case. So first, let's clean this up. Okay, this look a bit better now. So we can mark the cutouts on this one and that one. Before we can do the cutouts, uh, I'm gonna trim this to, uh, to size and do a dry run there, this one and this one. The bow fillet will go from here to there, so I'll start with the smaller chamfer first. Because there's still another layer of plywood there, I need to account for that as well. So this is nearly there. Uh, I guess I can mark the holes, the cutouts here, and then put the bottom on before I do the final adjustment. Okay, before I can fit this one, I need to trim this down to this level. Uh, yeah, the plane just touched there on the edge and ripped the, the plywood a bit. Oh well, a bit more filling I guess. I was cutting it close, wasn't it? Should have made this longer. Guys, if you making a, one of these parts, make it longer and then you can trim it after it's in place on this end, you can then trim that end. Otherwise you're gonna risk not having enough wood. That was way too close for comfort. Make sure it's not forcing the bulkhead that way. Okay, we can now do the cutouts on both parts. They are different, different sizes, different distances. So pay attention to that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now that we've got the cutouts done, it's time to put the next layer of plywood in there. I'm making this glue a bit less thick than um, I usually do and that's because this is a large surface and um, I want to make sure that this spreads evenly Guys, make sure to clean this really well, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare to get rid of this later on, when it's dry. Alright guys, the parts are almost ready to be fit in place. On the must step, I have had to round this to match the fillets between the bulkhead and the bottom um, if you've done the timber frame method this should be just a straight but at an angle as well uh, and here as you can see that's the straightest fillet on the bow to bottom i have the center case i've cut the notch already this is better if you cut this slightly bigger then slightly smaller because you want to make sure that when you put that mid seat here it will be gluing against this perfectly if you make this cut too small the plywood on top might just be like that and not all the way so it's better off if you have one or two mil more here on this cutout than if you, um, if you have it smaller so let's have a look how this fit on the bolt must step with the round to match the fillet there and here as well it's better if this part is a few millimeters short than if it's a bit too big because if it's too big the part will be something like that it will be off the bottom so you want to make sure that that it's actually right on the bottom and the must partner exactly the same thing you do not want this to be forcing the bulkhead that way so now the center case can fit the mid seat and make sure there's enough plywood there okay this is looking good now but before I can do any of this or put any of this in place there's still one thing we need to do to all these parts including the seat we need to apply three coats of epoxy to all these parts and if the camera hadn't shut down due to overheating you actually would have seen me do the first coat but <laughs> well you can still see the second one If I ever manage to save money to buy a new camera, it most definitely will not be a GoPro. Those things are horrible, they keep shutting down due to overheating, even the new models, the 11 and the 12, they still do it. I don't know what the hell they think, but my next camera would most definitely be a DJI Action 4. Okay guys, do not epoxy the gluing surfaces, only the ones that will be exposed. As you can see, I've rounded this bit here, because I want the, this um, end grain and these rounds to soak as much epoxy as possible while I apply, apply the tree coat.
One more thing before we can glue the mask step, we need to get rid of all the gloss on the fillets and the bottom as well. And we've got our parts ready to glue now. This one I will not sand, this is just epoxy, but this will be under the forward deck, so there will be no UV or rain or salt water, anything hitting that surface. So I will keep it just with the three coats of epoxy. This side needs to be clean, sand it again, because when you coat it, there's gonna be small droplets of uh, resin here. So you need to, again, clean the surface properly. And if you're wondering how heavy this is, that's a pound. 445 grams. Must step. I've sanded this area because I will apply varnish here. This is under the deck but near the bottom. UV will hit the surface as well as any water, salt water splashes, whatever. Uh, so yeah, varnish here. And if you're wondering how heavy this one is, Six hundred and fifty grams. That's under a pound and a half. And the setup case again. I've sanded it. This will be varnish. Five hundred and seventy-four grams. And now the last dry run before we glue this in place. Start to this one. That looks all right, so let's mix some resin. center line there and the center line here now you can go underneath and put a few screws to hold the bottom against this or in my case I'm just gonna put some weight in here and I have put a, a board underneath Okay, I'm going to put some pressure this way now, bend the bow panel a bit. There you go. Okay, I guess that's must step and must partner done. Now the center case. I have marked the center case here on the bottom. So I've drawn the center case here and I have put four little holes on each corner of the area I will have to cut out. So this will be cut for the center board to go in and there's one, two, three, four small holes there. That will allow me when I turn the boat upside down to draw this same rectangular on the other face and just cut it out. I've also put this piece of wood here to make sure that when I put the center case, it's not bowed that way. Sorry guys, that camera just shut down again. Being here in the workshop with no 
airflow it just doesn't dissipate the heat and it shuts down and sometimes I can hear it beeping sometimes I can't so the center case is in place as you saw I had the four little holes there there's nothing much to it just put glue on the surface and the other one put it in place clamp it here there we go and then put some pressure with a couple of uh, wedges now you can obviously go under uh, underneath and just make a couple of holes in the same direction as these spacers here and another one here pre-drill them and then put a screw to pull the center case against the bottom I didn't want to do that so the wedges will work just fine make sure it's aligned at the midline there and there so guys must step must partner and center case I've worked again around eight hours this week I tried to keep it between eight and ten as I said in the comments before I believe this is the amount of time that someone with a job family an understanding wife <laughs> can put every week it's only like a couple of hours every other day and one morning or one afternoon during the weekend so if you're committed to building a boat I believe you should be able to pull this off otherwise well instead of three months you probably take four or five or six depending on your time it was a shorter video this week but there's not much to it to be honest um, most of it was coating sanding and um, well gluing I guess you guys have seen plenty of that during the build just gave you a few, t a few tips here regarding the mast partner and mast step uh, one last comment I would say make them longer than it's on the drawing because your boat may vary about one mil two mil five mil ten mil uh, I don't know you might have put this a bit further back so and then you will have a shorter piece that you can't um, make bigger so make a bigger piece and then trim it to size to your boat and with that said guys stay safe see you next week